Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn and write third class Mass Magic Workbook Semester 2 Chapter Multiplication. Worksheet number 6 Subtopic Multiplication of 3 digit number by 1 digit number. Do the following A 104 into 2. Here we have to multiply 4 ones with 2. We get 8 ones. So we have to write 8 in 1's place. Under 1's place. After that multiply 0 tens with 2. We get 0. So we have to write 0 in 10's place. After that multiply 100 with 2. We get 200. So we have to write 2 in 100's place. So here 104 into 2 that equal to 208. Next to be 222 into 2. We will get 444. Next to see 385 into 2. We will get 770. Next to D 200 into 3. We will get 600. Next to E 313 into 3. We will get 939. Next F, 342 into 2, we will get 684. Next G, 999 into 1, we will get same the number 999. Next H, 434 into 2, we will get 868. Next I, 123 into 3, we will get 369. Next to J, 221 into 4. We will get 884. Next to K, 111 into 4. We will get 444. Next to L, 101 into 5. That equal to 505. Next worksheet number 7. Subtopic. Multiplication of 3 digit number by 1 digit number. Do the following. A. 220 into 4. Here we will get 880. Next B. 100 into 5. We will get 500. Next C. 110 into 5. We will get 550. Next D. 100 into 0. When we multiply with any number with 0, we will get always 0. Next E, 110 into 7. We will get 770. Next F, 101 into 8. We will get 808. Next G, 101 into 7. We will get 707. Next H, 100 into 9. We will get 900. Next I, 243 into 2. We will get 486. Next J, 323 into 3. We will get 969. Next K, 111 into 9. We will get 999. Next L, 124 into 2. We will get 248. Next M. 203 into 8. We will get 1624. Next. 101 into 5. We will get 505. Next more. 111 into 7. We will get 777. Next worksheet number 8. Subtopic multiplication with 10 and 100. Do the following. A. 14 into 10. When we multiply a number by 10, the product comes out to be the multiplicand followed by 10. So here we will get 
140. Next B 19 into 10. Here also we will get multiplicand followed by 10. So we will get 190 here. Next C 45 into 10. We will get 450. Next D 37 into 110 that equal to 310. Next E 37 into dash that equal to 370. So we have to multiply here with 10. Next F dash into 10 that equal to 350. So here multiplicand followed by 10. So we have to write multiplicand 35 here. Next G dash into 10 that equal to 480. So we have to write 48. Next H dash into 10 that equal to 750. We have to write 75 into 10 that equal to 750. Next I 37 into 100. When we multiply a number by 100, the product comes out to be the multiplicand followed by two zeros. So we have to write 37 after that two zeros. So 37 into 100 that equal to 3700. Next to J 59 into 100. 5900. Next K 64 into 100. We will get 6400. Next L 39 into dash that equal to 3900. So we have to multiply here 100 with 100. Next M dash into 100. The product is 7900. So we have to write 79 here. So the multiplicand is 79. Next to N dash into dash. Product is 4500. Here multiplicand is 45. And we have to multiply with 100. So we will get 4500. Next O dash into dash equal to 60 hundreds. So we have to write the multiplicand is 60. Multiply with 100. 60 into 100 we will get 60 hundred. Next P. Here we may multiply any number with 100. For example, 99 into 100, we will get 9900. Next worksheet number 9, subtopic oral mass. Fill the table. A. Number of buses and total number of wheels given in this box. Here, one bus. So that bus has 6 wheels. That means 1 into 6, that equal to 6 wheels. Here, 3 buses into 6 wheels. So here we have to multiply 3 into 6. We will get 18 wheels. Next to 5 buses and each bus has 6 wheels. So we have to multiply 5 into 6. We will get 30 wheels. Next to 9 buses into number of wheels 6. So that equal to 9 6 are 54. Next to 10 buses into 6, we will get 60 wheels here. Next to B, number of cars, total number of wheels given in the box. So one car has 4 wheels. So here also we have to multiply one car into 4 wheels. We will get 4 wheels. And next to 5 cars into 4 wheels, we will get 20 wheels. After that, 7 cars here into 4 wheels we will get 28 wheels and 10 cars into 4 wheels we will get 40 wheels next 20 cars into 40 wheels we will get 80 wheels next to see item cost of 1 kilogram cost of 5 kilogram cost of 10 kilogram given in the box first one sugar Cost of 1 kilogram equal to 35 rupees. So, cost of 5 kilogram that equal to 175 rupees. Here we have to multiply 35 into 5 kilogram. Then we will get 
one hundred and seventy five rupees. Next, cost of ten kilograms. Here we have to multiply cost of one kilogram into ten kilograms. So here we will get three hundred and fifty rupees. Next, rice. Cost of one kilogram equal to forty rupees. So cost of five kilogram that equal to two hundred rupees. Next, cost of ten kilograms. Here we have to multiply cost of one kilogram forty into ten kilogram. So here we get four hundred rupees. Next, to jaggery cost of one kilogram equal to forty five rupees. So cost of five kilograms that equal to here we have to multiply cost of one kilogram is equal to forty five rupees into five kilograms. So we get two hundred and twenty five rupees. Next, to cost of ten kilograms. Here also we have to multiply forty five with ten kilograms. So here we get four hundred and fifty rupees. Next to green gram, cost of one kilogram equal to ninety rupees. So cost of five kilogram that equal to here we have to multiply ninety into five kilogram. So we get four hundred and fifty rupees here. Next to cost of ten kilogram, we get nine hundred rupees. Next to red gram, cost of one kilogram equal to eighty rupees. So cost of five kilogram that equal to four hundred rupees. So here also we have to multiply it with five kilogram. Then we get four hundred rupees. Next to cost of ten kilograms, here also we have to multiply eighty rupees with ten kilogram. So we get eight hundred rupees. Next worksheet number ten subtopic multiplication understanding word problems. First question: There are twelve tables in a classroom. Each table has four legs. What is the total number of legs of all tables? Here, what information is given in the problem? Here, there are twelve tables and each table has four legs. This information is given in the problem. Next question: What is to be found in the problem? Here we have to find total number of legs of all the tables. Next question: Which process do you follow to solve the problem? We should follow multiplication to solve this problem. Next question: There are five fingers in a hand. How many fingers are there for fifteen hands? Yes. How many fingers are there in one hand? We have five fingers in one hand. Next to how many hands are there? There are two hands. Next to to get total number of fingers, what should we do? We should do multiplication to get number of fingers. Next question: There are three blades in a fan. Find the number of blades for twenty fans. Number of fans, twenty. Number of blades to each fan, three. Total number of blades for all fans, twenty into three. We get sixty blades. Next question: A shirt has five buttons. Find the number of buttons in five shirts. Number of shirts. How many shirts are there? Five. Next, number of buttons to each shirt. How many buttons have each shirt? Yes, a shirt has five buttons. So we can write five buttons here. Next, total number of buttons for all shirts. Here we have to multiply shirts into buttons. Then we will get twenty-five buttons. Next question: A textbook has one hundred twelve pages. Find the number of pages in four textbooks. Number of textbooks. How many textbooks are there? Four. So that equal to four. Number of pages to each book that equal to one hundred twelve pages. Next to total number of pages for all books that equal to one hundred twelve into four books. Here we will get four hundred and forty eight pages. Okay children remaining worksheets will continue in another video 
until then take care of you thank you bye bye